Actually, I am. Just a little, which never happens. So you better put a star on the calendar. Welcome, everybody. My name is Artist Nicole, and look at what we are going to be painting tonight. This beautiful fall wreath, right? I know. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> So take a good peek at her. We'll get her nice and close, far away. How you like that? Ooh, yeah. Love it. All right, so welcome, everybody. For those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Artist Nicole. I'm getting some loving. Bring on the loving. <laughs> I own Artful Nights, Maine, and... My rules are absolutely simple, you gorgeous little love bots. You guys are going to eat, you're going to drink, you're going to have a fabulous time at home. That's right. <laughs> and other than that, I have no rules. So what I mean by that is I am going to teach you guys. Hello, Rebecca Hallfelder. How you doing, gorgeous? Um, I'm going to teach you guys how to paint this beautiful fall wreath. See that? Ooh, but if you guys want to do something totally different, okay, say you want to put your grandmother in there. Well, no, probably not your grandmother because she's not going to fit in your wreath. But if you guys want to make your sunflower and hello, Katie Von Cobb, Sherry Lenore's wall. Oh, girl, do I have a story for you today? <laughs> Apparently... On halloween -y, when you decide to put Jurassic Park on the outside of your house on the vinyl siding, you're not supposed to use packing tape. <laughs> so today, Sherry Lynn Oswald, guess what I did, baby? I ended up having a nice, close, and relation like fabulous relationship with Gooby Gone. Yeah, eight feet high, Gooby Gone. <laughs> But I hope you guys all had a fabulous Halloween vacation. Okay? And um, what I'm saying is, you know, you guys can paint your flowers whatever color you like. Obviously, the beauty of this fall wreath is bringing in those fall colors. But it doesn't matter because art is what makes your heart happy, people. There's no right. There's no wrong. You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. All right. So, the first thing that we are going to do with this gorgeous fall wreath, okay? Hello, Nicole Graff. How you doing? I want to see you in person in a couple weeks. Is, these are going to be your colors. What? Yeah, just five colors. We're going to do white, black, red, orange, and yellow. Look at that. And through the, through the beautiful mass, hello, to... Chuska Av Av Avedo from Florida. Your name reminds me of avocado. I think I probably said that before. I love guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> so hello, Marianne, Dudley, Charles, Lori Sanders. How are you doing, honey? I don't know what you mean about catching up with me today. Because I was outside, uh, you know, scrubbing my house most of the day, honey. But I love you, sweet pea, and I'll see you soon. Diane Mays, how you doing, Lisa Khan? Hello, gorgeous. Oh, I like that. <laughs> so let's get this party started, everybody. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing that everybody's going to do, okay, is... You guys are going to grab your big boy. All right, your big boy is your one-incher. I like them flat. You might like them round. Hello from Alabama. Hello, Shirley Raisley. Anita Robinson. Cuckoo Kachu. I've been missing you. Where you been? All right. And what you guys are going to do is you're going to take that big boy you're going to grab some white. You are going to grab some black. And on a second paint plate, because you know what I'm saying, obviously I was getting all ready for you. You guys are going to mix your favorite medium gray. 
okay? We don't want this gray a dark gray. We don't want it a light gray. You want it a nice medium gray. And that's going to be the foundation from your wood. From your wood. For your wood. Because you know, we all like a wonderful array of wood. You know what I'm saying? So here we go. I'll give you a second to mix it. Because I'm standing here bored with myself. So I started mixing before I stopped. Shut. Sh uh, oh, goodness. I lost it. Something about the Philippines. Hi, honey. Audrey Marie. Hello from Wyoming. How you do? Ian, this is the beauty, you guys. Okay. I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I go way too fast. I can't help myself. I'm hyperactive. But. You guys, at the minute that I am done, with, this is an absolutely free video. So the minute that I am done with this video, I post it on my Facebook page, which is Artful Nights Maine. You guys do not have to keep up because you can replay it over and over again. Then I'm going to move that sucker to my, uh, what do you call that thing? YouTube channel. Okay, so if you can't keep up, don't frustrate yourself. Just be happy. Chillax. Watch it and have a little fun. You know what I'm saying? And then paint later. Okay? All right, let's get her going. So, you got your big boy who I am going to, who am I going to call this big boy today? I'm going to call this big boy my guacamole friend. Do you know why? <laughs> I love the name avocado. Okay, so here we go. Here's my beautiful avocado. I've mixed my gray. I have my big boy. And what I am going to do is I am going to just stroke it. Stroke it up and down. And you know how to stroke her up and down, everybody. Yes, you do. Now, my gray is a little dark, and I'm okay with that. But I think what I might do is I might add a little bit more white, all right? I'm all about the dark wood, but you know what? Sometimes we got to lighten up our wood. All right, so here we go. And you guys are just going to keep on stroking, okay? And if you are having a hard time getting that paint on your uh, canvas because, you know, your canvas is a little dry, well, no worries. You just add a couple drops of that paint water to her and give her the spread, okay? <laughs> give her the spread. <laughs> All right. So, you guys are going to keep on painting, okay, until your entire canvas is covered with this beautiful gray creation that you made. All right? There we go. Ooh, that's the basis of my beautiful barn wood right there. That's my foundation. My foundation and my creation. Okay? Now, what you guys are going to do next is you are going to, a painting is never finished until you paint. Hello, Shirley. Oh, I lost you, Shirley. You went up. Hello, Penny Moore. How you doing from London, Ontario, Canada? Oh, Canada. I love you up there. All right. Now, a painting is never finished, okay, until you guys paint your top, your sides, and your bottom. However, we never paint our bottom first if we are using a, uh, what do you call those things? Easel, because you get a sticky bottom. And nobody likes that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so here I go. So as I'm going, okay, I am going to paint the sides of my canvas. I'm going to come up. I'm going to paint the top of my canvas with this beautiful gray here. And then I'm going to paint my other side. Look at that. Ooh, your mama. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do next. Hello, Beth Carney from Alabama. How you doing, sweet pea? Is I'm going to give this a couple of flaps. Why am I giving it the flap, doodle? Well, and I'm going to take my avocado, my little guacamole, and I'm going to put it into my bath water. All right? Grab it by the bottom. 
slap it. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to slap it. Okay? And what you guys are going to do is you're going to give it a couple of flab noodles. Why? Because you want it to be a little tacky. Hello, Connie Young from your hospital bed in North Dakota. Oh, baby! I hope you're doing okay. You just sit there and watch. It's, it's healing for you to laugh, you know, Miss Connie. So there you go, girl. You start doing some stretches and make that face happy, baby. Okay? And Cynthia Speck, spread my bottom. Oh, my God, Cynthia. You're naughty. <laughs> my bottom <laughs> oh you got me off guard there Cynthia okay now <laughs> no I'm just kidding <laughs> okay now what you guys are gonna do next okay is everybody is going to grab that avocado again and watch what I'm gonna do visual okay now I'm gonna have you guys take just a little bit of black okay and what you're gonna do watch this I got my big old brush I got my avocado all right I'm not spreading the bottom okay <laughs> and then I uh, is this on YouTube says Penny Moore not tonight, honey. Right now, we're live on Facebook. However, Miss Penny, in a couple of days, when I get around to it, it's going to go from my Artful Nights main page to my YouTube channel. Okay, love bug? All right, here we go. Ready? Do, 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 do. Did you see what I just did? Oh, yes. I took a tiny bit of black on my brush, and then I slapped my canvas with it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe off that brush, okay? Wipe it off so that all the black is off my brush. And watch this. While that paint is still wet, what I am going to do is I am going to very swiftly pull that black through my canvas up and down, okay? <laughs> All right, and what this is going to become is this is going to become those beautiful grains of wood. All right, watch this. Hello, Jackie Williams. How you do? I want a few more of those black spots, okay? And you always want to go the length of that canvas, okay, you guys? Sweep it, sweep it quickly, fast, but go the whole length, all right? And if you need to, if it's looking a little streaky to you, right, grab a little of that bath water on that uh, brush and then just pull her. Oh, we're pulling. We're pulling. Yanking the crank. <laughs> All right. And what's going to happen is that black is going to serve as those beautiful grains in your wood. Look at that. Yes, sir. While it's still wet, I'm going to do the same thing, but watch what I'm going to do next, okay? I'm going to take that brush, wipe it off, take my little avocado, grab a little bit of white this time, okay? See that? Right? Marionette, Wyoming. Hello, Helen Keith. Hello, how you do? <laughs> okay? Watch that. I'm just slapping. Oh, am I thinking? Nope, I'm slapping. Okay, slap a little white on there. Wipe off that brush again. And again, we're going to do that same process. We're just sweeping that white through very quickly. Okay, watch that. Woo wee. And what's going to happen is those little variations that you've created with that black and white are going to become the grains in your wood. All right, now you're going to stand back. You're going to get a little bit more strategic. Here we go. Joop, joop. I'll add a little white. I'll add a little black. I'll flick a little on my kitchen floor. 
And here we go, you guys. Oh, look at that. Roger Rabbit's racing through the field. Okay, see that? Beautiful. And what you're creating is you're creating wood grains. Okay, see that? Now, like I said, get a little more strategic, pull her on through, and always follow that up and down motion. Hello, Rosa Leon. How you doing, darling? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to add a little black here. And if you guys feel like it, watch this. I am going to teach you how to do something really interesting. All right. Woo. Nice. I like my greens. I like my wood. It's starting to look like barn wood. I like that. Nothing I like like a little, little barn full of wood, you know? Yeah. Okay. Now, if you want to make it more interesting, here, here's my little trick. Okay. You're going to grab your little itty bitty. Makes it look so easy. Why, well, thank you. Geez, seven years later, I'm making it look easy. <laughs> like a little on the kitchen floor. Debbie, honey, you have no idea what I do after these shows. All right? I'm on my hands and knees. Scrubbing. Okay. Now grab that little brush, okay? Grab a little black on it, right? Your little teeny weeny bomb. And look what I'm going to do over here, probably up in this area, because I know that's not going to be carved out with my, look at that. Oh, what? Is that a little piece of knot? Yes, it is. It's not knot. It is. See there? Look at that. Put that little belly button in there. Okay, grab another one right over here. Why? Just because you feel like it. All right, brush her in. See that on those random spots? Okay, and when you guys absolutely, positively love what you see, okay, you are like, oh my goodness, that is a beautiful barn full of wood right there. So when you are loving those grains, okay, and you love your wood, you got to love your wood. You got to love it a lot, okay? Whoops, that's too much black. So, when you absolutely love what you see, your wood grains are finished, okay? I don't know if I'm loving my wood yet. Let's, let's work on it a little more. All right, that'll give you guys a chance to catch up. Not the kind of catch up you put on your hot dogs, but you know what I'm talking about. Okay, and I'm just putting a few little deviations in here. Giving my wood a little something, something. Bringing some parts of it together. See? Look at that. Ooh. Ooh, this spot looks like it needs a little, little grains and deviations. Look. Oh, what? Oh, yes, I just did that. Okay, look at that. Ooh, am I thinking? Whoa, oh, jeez, I shouldn't be thinking that way. Yeah, hold on. All right. Now, what, again, when you absolutely love what you see, your masterpiece of wood is complete, okay? And if not, even though I'm going to move forward, you keep working it, okay? You work it until you love it, till it looks like that precious piece of barn wood that you've been waiting to buy at your local uh, barn store. <laughs> A local barn store. I have one of those around my house. I'm not even kidding. It's called Barn Boards and More. And they actually sell barns that they take down, which is wonderful. Okay? But again, keep working this until you love it. Until you're feeling the grains. You're loving the wood. Okay? And what I'm going to have you guys do next. Alright? We are going to separate your boards. <laughs> Not your butt, but your boards, okay? So, <laughs> um, so what you guys are going to do is you're going to grab your little itty bitty, okay? <laughs> That's what I'd be doing. That's because she's a great teacher. Why, thank you, Georgia. How you doing, Miss Georgia Jerkovic? How is it up in Canada? Because I know it's mighty cold down here in Maine. Ooh, brr. Okay, 
So what we're going to do next is you guys are going to grab a tiny, you're going to grab your littlest brush, and I'm going to call this guy, what am I going to call this guy? I am going to call this guy, I know what I'm going to call him, I'm going to call him a Mexican bean. <laughs> Goes with my avocado. <laughs> right? I hear you, Miss Georgia. I hear you. Okay. So we're going to call this guy a jumping bean right here. When I say grab your jumping bean, you know I'm talking about your detail brush. All right? And what we're going to do with that jumping bean is you guys are going to come in here and you're going to separate your barn wood. And all this is, okay, is a black line from the top to the bottom. Look at that. One black line, top to bottom. Okay? And then I'm going to come over here, and I am not measuring. I'm not thinking because of the fact that in the real wood, wood come, real wood, in the real world, wood comes in all different shapes and sizes, doesn't it? So look at that. Here comes my second line. There you go. And now what you have are those three boards, okay? You're deer hunting. Oh, my goodness. Yep, I'm one of those girls. You hunt, too. Good job, Julie. Julie Adelman, you go get her done. <laughs> okay, and here are my three wood boards that I'm going to rest my beautiful wreath on. Okay? And, again... You guys work yours until you absolutely love what you see, okay? Now, what I'm going to do next, I am going to grab my little hair dryer, dry off the back. Ooh, wee, look at that. Yeah, nice and dry because the next thing that we're going to be doing is carving out our wreath. Okay? Alright. Beautiful. That's the beauty of the hair dryer. You know what I'm saying? In and out, she done. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do next for you guys, okay, is everybody, I told you in the description today, make sure you had some chalk. Because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be carving out our wreath, okay? Now, the first thing, the reason why we love chalk is you can wipe it right off. That's the beauty of it. So, the first thing that I'm going to have you guys do, okay, is I want you to draw just a circle on the inside all right and this circle is going to be approximately where your wreath is going to sit it's going to be the center of your wreath and if we do this first then we have an idea of where that braid's going to go because otherwise what can happen is your wreath can kind of go like this we don't want that all right, so start off with a beautiful circle in the center, okay? Can you guys see that? Yeah, you can. Oh, I know you can. Look at that. Ooh, it's wreath time, okay? Now, I'm going to show you the three steps that you need to do to make your braid, all right? Because a wreath is braided together. It's that I don't even know what they're made out of, but you know what I'm saying. So, first thing I'm going to have you do, right up here in the corner, okay, you're going to take this chalk, all right, and you're going to create a small wave. This wave is going to go above the line, below the line, okay, above the line, below the line. Do you see what I'm saying? All right, and you're gonna keep on doing that all the way around your wreath, above the line, below the line, okay? See ya, 
You know what I'm saying? The easy breezy like Sunday morning. Above the line, below the line, and you are just going to keep on going with that same pattern. Just like that, below the line, above the line. Just a small one, all right? There we go. And when I get to this point right here, okay, I'm going to take that line and I'm going to go wooga, wooga, wooga. I'm going to bring it up towards my knot. Can you see that? All right, so I've gone and I went above the line, below the line, above the line, below the line. Above the light. Okay, do you see what I'm saying? Easy. You guys got that. All right. Now, I'm going to take this end and just kind of continue it until it reaches that point. All right. See that? Beautiful. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do next is the exact opposite. So every, we're going to do the same thing, but every place that you guys went above the line, you're now going to go below the line and it's going to twist like this. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So now I'm here. Okay. Same point that I started at. Now I'm going to go below the line and above the line. See that? Below, uh, whatever. You know what I'm saying, okay? So you're doing the exact opposite that you just did. So we're making a twist around that circle. So every place that you went below the line, now you're going to go above the line, okay? So that they crisscross all the way around that circle. All right, look at that. Oh, baby, baby. So do you see what's happening here? Every place that I went below, I'm just gonna take a second line, go above, okay? See that? And I made a little boo-boo there, and what do I do? Well, I probably should grab a paper towel, but I'm just licking my finger and just erasing it. Okay, here we go, zoop, zoop. You know, when I was a little kid, we ate dirt, and it was okay. It was good for us. <laughs> we make fun of, we make them out of grapevines here in Tennessee. Ooh. My parents just went for a two-week vacation to the Smoky Mountains, Sandra Leanne. So, I am going to come up there, because they said it was wonderful. I can't wait to come to Tennessee. Girl, maybe we'll meet up and show me how to use those grapevines, okay? <laughs> and when you get to this point, okay, we're going to come up. There you go. And look at that. All I did was I went up in the opposite direction. Beautiful. Okay, now look at it from afar. Easy peasy pumpkin pie, right? You got this. I believe in you. Now what I'm going to have you do, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to start right here, right on the in betweeny, okay? And you guys are going to go just like this. And this is where it gets a little complex, all right? You're going to bring this up and through. So every place that you guys have one of those circles, okay? So we've got one of these little circles. You're gonna bring this line right through the middle. See that? We're gonna bring that line right through the middle of each one of those circles using the same process, right? Zoop, 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 zoop. We're doing the same thing, but now we're separating the mouth of each one of those circles. You got this? Okay. Now I'm going to come above and 
separate that little circle right on the inside. See that? I went right through. There you go. See that? Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right. We're going to keep doing this until we get right through to the end. All right. Now we're putting it through the middle, putting it through the middle, putting it through the middle, and you're ending there. Look at that. Woo-wee. Okay. It looks kind of like the kaleidoscope that we used to do when we were little kids. Remember those spiral graphs? You know? It's kind of like that. All right. Now, last line I'm going to put in here. Okay? Let's see. You know what? I'm going to stop you guys there because I don't want to make it so complicated that you guys are scratching your head going, Holy guacamole, what is that? Okay, so we're just going to do three lines. So two of them are going to become circles, and the other one is going to go right through that and intersect it. Oh, I'm so glad, Sue Pollock. Well, hopefully I'm not going to knock over my camera. <laughs> okay, now, what I'm going to have you guys do next is everybody is going to grab their medium brush. Yours may not look like mine. That's okay. And if you guys are feeling better, all right, I mean, feeling better, feeling better. Oh, I'm thinking about the lady in the hospital. Never mind. If you guys um, are just starting, don't grab your medium brush because you know what? You're going to end up making these vines too thick. So grab your itty bitty. In fact, let me grab my little Mexican bean, show you what I'm talking about, okay? Hey, Heather Brooklyn, how you doing, sweet pea? Good girl. All right, now what I'm going to have you do with this little Mexican, Mexican jumping bean is everybody's going to dip one side of that brush in black, and then the other side of the brush is going to be white. So we've got black and white, black and white, okay? We double dip that little bean. I love it. All right, now we are gonna start on the first line that we did. Are you ready for this? So I think it was this one. And yeah, I think it was this one. Well, I don't even know. But anyways, pick a line, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to take that white and you're going to take that black and you are just going to trace over that first line that you did. Okay, watch this. Woo-wee. All right, don't overthink it. Just follow that bouncing ball. Okay, that little bouncing ball that you started with. All right, keep on a double dipping just like that because it brings a little depth and dimension to that line. We're going to keep on a going and look at that. That's right. You know what I'm talking about, right? We're just doing it. We're doing it and doing it and doing it again. Okay, I'm going to come down. Up, all right, down and up, following that wave. And then when I get to this point, okay, I am going to take that little brush and I'm going to follow that little line all the way up, that little spiky dikey doo doo. Okay, look at that. Boom. And there you go. See that? So I finished her off, and I followed, whoops, where did I do that? Oh, there we go, on the side. <laughs> okay? Good job, you guys. Now, you are going to wipe off this brush. Wipe off your little bean, okay? And 
what you're going to do next is when you double dip, you're going to add a little bit more black. Hey, Amy Lan, I love you too, pumpkin. <laughs> you're going to add a little bit more black than you did the last time. Okay, we're still double dipping, but we're adding a lot of black and just a little bit of white. Okay, so here we go. And now we're going to start on the second line that we did. See this? And the reason that we're adding different amounts of color is because you want each different, uh, I guess grapevine is the word. I'm going to go with grapevine, my Tennessee friend. Okay, you want each one to be just a little different than its friend. Okay. And that will help you too in the end. All right, this one I'm adding a little more black. And we're following, all we're doing is following that second chalk line. Okay, we're crossing our friends. Adding a little more black on this one. Yep. All right, making sure that I'm not going off the cuff because it's easy to do, let me tell you what. Okay, riding that roller coaster, that road map, all the way from the beginning. I'm going to Route 66. I don't think I've ever been there, but I want to someday. I think I'm going to. <laughs> okay, and when you guys get to this point, what are you going to do? Whoops, that point over there, you're going to bring that vine all the way up. Look at that. Now we've crossed that vine in the corner. Beautiful. All right. And now the last thing that we're going to do on our vine is you guys are going to bring in that third line. All right. You can use whatever variation of color that you want to. If you want to use the full on black, do that. If you want to use a little bit of, you know, whatever. It's your world. Remember that. Don't let anybody define your world for you. It's your world. Okay, I see that? And now I'm just bringing in my last piece to this braid. Because we are not going to make it that complicated. All right, and the beauty of this is that this whole wreath is going to be covered with da, 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 pretty flowers, okay? There we go. And there's my last piece. What a pretty little wreath I made. Okay, look at that, we're going down. All right, and keep on a going. And we're going around this part, ooh, baby. Ooh, that's a little light, and I love it. Okay. And look at that. Boom, chakalaka. And you end up, when it looks like that, you stomp that wreath. Okay. Now, because I didn't want to make it too complicated for you guys, I stomped at three. However, if you guys want to add in another uh, grapevine, go for it. It's your world, all right? I'm just going to keep it simple for you for now, all right? Now, next thing we're going to do, we're going to take our little handy-dandy hair dryer. We're going to dry her off.
she's ready. And again, my wreath is a little sparse, but that's all right, because I'm going to put a lot of flowers in there, okay? You guys feel free to add as many of those lines or as few as makes your heart happy. Okay, now, next thing we're going to do, you guys are going to grab a tiny little piece of paper towel, or you can lick your canvas if you'd like, but it doesn't really taste that good. What love what you have. Oh, thank you, Miss Maureen. Hi, you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to grab a damp paper towel, not a wet one, okay? Squeeze it out. Grab most of that water out of the paper towel. You just want to moist. All right. And you're going to come in and erase any extra chalk that you may have in here. Nice, gentle touches, though, because you don't want to smudge any of that paint like I just did. All right? We don't want any smudges. But just grab some of that, that extra chalk from the center. Oh, look at that. Gosh, I'm loosening her all up. Maybe you don't want to listen to that instruction. That's all right. Moving on. <laughs> Okay, if I add another vine, is there only two that entwine up to the top, or am I going to add up? Okay, now I don't know who asked this, but um, Heather, no, not Heather, Sandra. No, no, not Sandra. Anyways, no, okay? You guys are not going to keep entwining them to the top. You're only going to have a couple. See these one, two that shoot to the top? Okay, so don't add more to that. You're all right. Just add two that come out of there. Okay, not more because that's really going to complicate things. Now, the next thing that I am going to have you guys do, okay, everybody is going to take either your medium brush or your small brush. I'm going to grab this medium one. I'm calling it my little burrito. Why? Because that's what I'm going to wrap myself in tonight when I'm all done teaching this class. Oh, a nice little burrito. My burrito blanket. Oh, snug as a bug in a rug. Okay. <laughs> Where's it come from? I don't know. All right. And what I'm going to have you do with your medium brush, your little burrito, hopefully I'll remember these names, is I'm going to have you grab a little bit of white on them. All right? And we're going to go down to this corner. This, um, I don't know my left from my right, so I'm not even going to pretend to do that. And what you guys are going to do is you're going to carve out a circle for the heart of your sunflower. All right, see that? Just a circle for the heart of your sunflower. And make sure, part of that sunflower is going to go off the wood, but make sure that you guys leave enough space. We make the, oh, great vines here in Tennessee. All right, let me get right up here. Geez, I'm missing a few things. Lovely, okay, good. All right, I think I'm caught up. All right, so. There you go, you guys. You're going to put just the heart of that sunflower. Okay? And this is how it works. The commercial yellow that I use, that most people, it stinks. So what we have to do first is we're going to create an underpainting for this flower. All right? But you just follow along. So there's the heart of my sunflower. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to grab some more white. And here we go. Here's my first petal. See that? Ooh. And a petal, these petals don't come, uh, you know, like every flower is different. But this petal actually looks like a little rabbit ear. See that? Yes. And the easiest way that I find to make flowers, to make sure that all the petals are going in the right direction, is to drive that canvas like a car. <laughs> and what I mean by that is, now your canvas is a steering wheel. So this is the top of my canvas. Now I'm going to turn it a little bit like a steering wheel, come right up next to it, all right? and make another petal. See that? 
Now, if you guys want a huge sunflower, you go for it. It is your world, and don't you let anybody squash your flower. If you want a different kind of flower, you do that too, okay? Now she really looks like little bunny the foo foo, huh? Yes, it does. Okay, now I'm going to turn my canvas a little more, my little steering wheel, and here we go. Here's my next petal. Okay, and if you continue to turn that canvas with the steering wheel and always point that top petal towards the sky, all of your petals are going to go in the right direction. Okay, here we go. You ready for this? Here comes my next one. I'm turning my steering wheel. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, here it goes again. Goodness, we're going around a curve. Ah! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> See what you guys really don't know? I'm not the best driver. <laughs> but anyways, you get the gist, okay? There we go. There's my next one. Okay, I'm turning that steering wheel again. There we go. Here comes my next pedal. Turning my steering wheel a little more. That's right. Turn that steering wheel. Okay. Yeah. Keep on going. And on this particular flower, we are only putting one layer of those beautiful petals. Okay. This isn't going to be this big, intricate sunflower. Because of the fact that we got so many other flowers to put in here. Okay? Keep on turning your steering wheel. Boom! And when you do that, you're just basically doing the same thing over and over again. Same size. And you're just pointing those bad boys towards the sky. Okay? And when you're all finished, it will look like your version of this. You guys see that? Yeah. Okay. Now, somebody said something about you guys need to rewatch it. Okay. So, I believe at the end of the video, all right. Now, we're actually live now at 745 up here in Maine. All right. We had daylight savings. Turn the clocks back. So, when it's all, I'm really scratching my nose. Look at that. Okay, so when it's all over, you guys will be able to pause on the replay, rewind. I think you can pause, but I don't think you can rewind. All right, but no worries. You'll be all right. Okay, now what you guys are going to do next is you're going to come in with that medium brush. And I'm going to have you guys take a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white. You're gonna mix them together and make a very light yellow, okay? Very light yellow, a very pale yellow. Okay, can you guys see that? This color right here. And we're gonna use that pale yellow to paint in, same here in London, I can watch it again, I pause. Watch on my computer and all right. I'll let you guys figure that piece out and I'll just keep on teaching. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to paint in each one of my petals with this beautiful pale yellow. And when you paint in those petals, you paint them in like they came out of the earth. All right. So you're not going to paint them like this. You're just going to paint them with those nice long strokes. All right, keep turning that steering wheel. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, see that? Going to keep on going. And I'm going to make my start. My sunflower is going to start off with this beautiful banana yellow color. <laughs> Nothing like a little banana yellow. You know what I'm saying? Woo! Nothing like a little chiquita. Okay. And you're just going to come in and give them the first coat, the first little undercoat 
of that light yellow. Now, do not even think about the heart of the sunflower. We don't care about this, all right? Not even a little. All we care about right now is getting those petals painted in. There we go. Coming on on this side of the mountain. Painting them up this way. Woo wee. See that? Got a little gray in there. That's all right. Don't worry about that. This is our underpainting. So this one we're not overly concerned with. But what we are doing is we're just putting an undercoat on this flower so that when we go to put that full on yellow on the flower, it just pops. Okay, that's important. We want it to pop. Want it to be a yellow wishes, a yellow bellied sap sucker flower. Okay, that's a bird. All right, so there you go. So you're all finished when your flower has that first layer of buttercream on it. See that? Beautiful. Okay. Now. What I am going to have you guys do next is everybody's going to wash off their little, your uh, burrito, right? We're going to give her a bath and dry it off. We don't want a drippy burrito. Nobody wants the sour cream coming out. <laughs> Hate it when that happens. I bite my burrito and the sour cream goes. <laughs> okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to have you guys do is you are going to come in and you are going to make these beautiful black leaves, okay, around your sunflower. All right? Now, what's the shape of a leaf, you ask? Well, I mean, I think you might ask it, but. All you're going to do for a leaf is think about the shape of an eye. Okay, see this? <laughs> I'm giving you the hairy eyeball. Okay? <laughs> and that is the shape of a leaf. All right? So grab that little brush and grab a little bit of black on it. Okay? <laughs> okay. talk to so I gotta entertain myself okay now what I'm gonna have you do is we're gonna go on top of this sunflower Are you ready for this here's my first leaf zoop, and zoop. okay see oh you can't really tell because it's in part of the vine but and then I'm gonna come down and carve that leaf around those flower petals okay so all I'm doing is I'm giving it the top of the leaf can you guys see that all in black all right then I'm gonna come in over here I'm gonna add a second leaf see my second leaf and I'm not gonna go leaf crazy because of the fact but I made a really big sunflower. Okay, so I'm gonna carve around. And there, look at that. There's my second leaf, I painted it in. All right. And then over here, I'm gonna go right on the in-betweeny and carve out my third leaf. See that? All right, and if you want to make it a little bigger, bring it down in the crack just a little more, you go for it. See that? Nice. Nothing like a little black leaf in your crack. You know what I'm saying? All right, and then carve around those petals just like that and paint in those leaves. Woo wee. It's leafatopia in here. Okay? There's that. And now I'm under this guy. Right? This is the green.
Grand Poopa leaf. He's the master blaster. He's the big boy. He's the powerhouse. He's the <laughs> jolly green giant right there. <laughs> okay. So let's paint that in. And boom. There's my three leaves on top of my sunflower. See that? Beautiful. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. Right down here. Let's add another leaf right down there. Okay. Carve around those petals just like that. See that? And we'll paint this little bad boy in. Okay. So now I've got my sunflower, and I've got my, my four leaves. Yeah, let's add another one. Why not? Okay, so here we go. I'm going to add another one right in that crack. Yeah. That's a nice leaf you got there, Missy. Okay, and let's paint her in. Beautiful. There you go. And now you have those black leaves that are behind your sunflowers, you guys. My little superstars. Okay? And then, what I am going to have you guys do, okay, is everybody is going to bring these beautiful sprigs around their wreath. See that? That looks like, you know, crazy hair in the morning. <laughs> I just started watching the show with Alec Baldwin, the true north or something like that, and that's what his hair looks like. But anyways, okay. So to bring those, le those little sprigs off your wreath, Again, we're going to use that car technique, all right? So I'm going to grab my brush, my little itty-bitty, my little uh, bean. I'm going to double dip it with black and white on that bean. And watch this. I'm going to put my brush right on the outside of my wreath and watch bam see that no you didn't even i did it so fast you didn't see it but bam okay and here we go right on the outside but bam okay make those noises it'll come out better all right and you're going to continue to do that all the way around your wreath. Watch this. Woo! Choo! See that? Now, I'm not sure what these are because I'm not a wreath maker, but I know that they're part of it. <laughs> okay? And when we do these little sprigs that go all the way around the wreath, what you guys are going to do is, again, you're going to drive that car. Okay, here we go. Ready? Because all those sprigs are going to point towards the sky. Okay? Some of them are going to crisscross applesauce. That's all right. That's what happens in the real world. Okay? Now I'm going to turn my car this way so that I keep them all pointing towards the sky. Okay? Same direction. There we go. Now over here, not even thinking, I'm just going poopa. Look at that. See that? Bringing in those spriggy, spriggy, spriggies. Okay. Turn my car this way. Boom, boom, boom. We're going around. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. And so that all of those little sprouts that are coming out of my wreath are going in the same direction. See that? And now 
I'm going to do the same thing down here on the corner. And I'm going to stop when I get to my sunflower. Okay, look at those little spriggy diggy doo doos. Nice. Looks like my hair when I wake up in the morning. Okay, look at that. And now they go in a continuous circle all the way around. Okay? And the best thing you guys can do is don't think too much, okay? If you got a little holy moly in there, boom, just throw in a spriggy. Okay? Perfect. All right, my love, beautiful party people. Now, oh, looks like I got a little black over there. We'll take that off. The last thing that I'm going to have you guys do before halftime, okay, I'm looking for a clean paper towel, is you guys are going to grab that medium brush because we are going to fill in your beautiful sunflower, okay? Holy moly, you do think too much, don't you, Miss Earlene? You're not the only one, sweet pea. Happens all the time. <laughs> You're like, oh, I gotta do it perfect. Don't do that. <laughs> all right, my little beautiful people. So you're gonna grab that medium brush. Now, for me, what I like to do when I do fall colors, okay, is I like to kind of tone them down and make them all work together. And for me, the commercial yellows that they offer you are very lemony. And it just doesn't feel right for the fall to have a lemony yellow. So what I always do is for my yellow, my fall yellow, I grab a little scoop of orange, Okay, a little scoop of orange, and I mix it in with that yellow. And I just warm it up just a little bit. You know, add a little, just a hint of that orange. And it always makes me feel better. Makes me feel like, okay, that's a fall yellow that I want to go with. Okay. And I mix her all around. And just give her a little something, something. All right, and end up with a nice fall yellow. Okay, and it looks like this. Or your version of that. Okay. Then I'm going to take my little burrito brush. And here we go. I'm going to come in to my first petal. Okay, now be careful because if that black is still wet, you do not want to bring any of that black into your beautiful sunflower. So, what I think I might do, well, yeah, sure. Let's do a sail face. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. All right, let's dry her off. Okay. <laughs> sunflower we don't want that there anyways okay so you guys are gonna grab some of that beautiful fall yellow look what I'm doing Woo! okay and I'm just filling in my first petal look at that and when I do it I'm sweeping from the bottom to the top bottom to the top look at that and I paint it like it came out of the earth all right, sing like nobody's watching, woman. <laughs> you know it, Miss Earlene. <laughs> Except for when I sing, ooh. <laughs> okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do each petal individually. 
So I have my beautiful yellow on there, okay? I think I might have went a little too much orange in that yellow. So I'm just going to grab a little yellow, throw it in there. All right. And what I am going to do is while that yellow is still wet, I'm going to wipe off my brush, grab a little bit of orange, and watch this. Choo, choo, choo. Pull that orange through the yellow, okay? See that? Just do some of that, okay? Now I'm going to move on to my next petal. Here we go. Look at that. And we're just going to paint her in from the center going out. All right, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, go around town. Going to keep on going. Here's number three. Paint that one in. And I think I'll add those highlights in at the end. Because that'll give that paint just enough time to get a little tacky. Okay? See that? Going to keep going around. Painting her in like a little car, drive my car. Woo! Zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay? Now, do not even think about the center of your flower, okay? Don't even worry about that. All right? You guys, just keep on painting those petals. If you get a little yellow in the center, that's all right. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, paint them in a long direction. Ooh, yes, sir. Long strokes, just like they came out of the earth. See that? Ooh. Ah. Okay. Keep on going around. Ooh, yes, sir. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And keep on going. We're going to come around just like this. Paint her down towards the center. And you know the drill. Here we go. We're turning around the spiral graph, babies. Getting in those pitties. Okay. Whoop. There's that one. And this one. There's that little yellow banana peel. <laughs> Don't slip on it. <laughs> okay. And finally, here comes my last one. Nice. Now, what I'm going to have you guys do next. Can you see how I added a little bit of orange in that one? Okay. While that yellow is still wet, what I'm going to have you guys do with that medium brush, with your little burrito, is you're going to grab a little orange on it, okay, and just gently pull that orange right through the yellow so it looks like wildfire, okay? <laughs> wildfire. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, but just so that we can bring a little bit of that beautiful orange into the center. And if you add too much, all you got to do, grab a little yellow and pull it on top. It's that easy. Okay? See that? I'm going to keep on a going. Add a little orange in this one while it's still nice and wet. Okay? We got Naughty Kitty in the kitchen trying to scavenge on the 
Get down, naughty kitty. Come on, <laughs> you get down. <laughs> she loves it when I'm doing a live because she's like, ooh, scavenger. <laughs> Not a kitty. Okay, and you're just going to do the same thing all around that flower. Okay, pull in a little bit of orange. Gently sweep that orange into the wet yellow. And look at that. Add some highlights. Okay. Now, this is really important, especially if you guys are first starting out. You're just first starting. This is my first painting, Nicole. Okay, what you guys are going to do is make sure that you're gently kissing that canvas with your brush. Mwah! Not like a full on, you know, but just a nice gentle touch. Because that's how we pull that color right through the other one. Alright, watch this. I'm gently kissing it. Ooh, kissy, kissy, kissy. Okay, pulling it up just like this. Sweeping her in. All right, there. Yeah. Oh, that sunflower is looking gorgeous, isn't it? I know it is. I know you're getting all excited. I know I'm getting all excited. Okay, that sunflower's turning my crank. All right, now, keep on going. All right, drive that little Oldsmobile right around. And just add that yellow right in the center and sweep it on up. Sweep it on through. And feel free, you guys, okay? Again, if you feel like you've added too much orange in there, just put a little yellow on top. It's that easy. You can never mess it up because you can always go over it. You know what I'm saying? And... Everybody's got a different taste, too. Like, if you like a lot of orange in your sunflower, maybe you like a little red in your sunflower. Maybe you like a little black-eyed Susan. You know what I'm saying? That's all right. You do what makes your heart happy, because this is your wreath. It's not my wreath. It's your wreath. All right? Here we go. I'm going to add a little yellow in there. And then, boom, look at that. Orange in there. Woo wee. I love it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Huh? Look at that. Beautiful, you guys. Okay. Now, once you have that flower exactly the way you love it, it's singing to you, it's saying, I am your fall sunflower. <laughs> What you're going to do is you're going to take your medium brush and you are going to turn this brush into, whoops, got a little paper towel on that. You're going to turn this brush into a woodpecker, right? And what does a woodpecker do? Yes, it does. <laughs> it's been peleated. Okay. <laughs> so that's what you're going to be doing with that brush. Okay, we're going to be pecking in a little peck of motion. All right, and what I'm going to have you do is take some black on the end of this medium brush, okay? You're going to tap, tap, tap on your plate, just like that, all right? I got a little fray on my brush, got a little black on there, and I'm going to come in and I'm going to pack in the heart of my sunflower. Look at this. And is the heart of my sunflower perfectly perfect? No siree. No, it is not. Can you see how it's nice and fuzzy wuzzy on the edges? That's exactly how we want it. We want it to have a nice little amount of fuzz on it. Okay, as it goes out into the rest of that sunflower. There you go. Look at that. Ooh, pecky, pecky, pecky. Nothing I like like picking out the heart of my sunflower. <laughs> okay, look at that. We're fuzzing her all up. Yeah, look at that. 
Ooh, look. Now she's nice and fuzzy wuzzy. Can you see that? See how those edges are perfectly imperfect? Beautiful. Okay. And for now, what we're going to do is we're going to forget about our sunflower. Okay. We're going to forget it. We're going to set it and forget it. All right. And the last, I know I said I was going to give you guys half time, but I changed my mind. Okay, so the last thing that I am going to have you guys do before halftime is everybody is going to grab their little brush, all right? And in the, um, the spirit of teaching you guys to do random gorgeous flowers, all right, around this wreath, what we're going to do Again, the commercial red, orange, yellow, it doesn't provide the best coverage the first time. So what we're going to do is we are going to carve out all of our flowers. Yes, yes we are, okay? So I'm going to have you take your little bean. You're going to take a bunch of white on it and make sure that this wreath is dry. If it's not, Angle it towards the light. Make sure you don't have any little goopy spots on it. And here we go. All right. You're not thinking. You are just making different size flowers all over this wreath. And every single flower is going to be white. I'm going, I'm, going, I'm going to help you out. Okay. You ready for this? Here we go. I'm going to start right here. Right, and I'm going to go one, two, three. See that? And we're doing the same petals that we did on our sunflower. Four and five. Okay, see that? Same as you used to do when you were a little kid in school, when we was drawing, do a little daisy. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Look at that. There's my first flower. Now, what you guys are going to do is you are going to cover your entire wreath in white flowers. Whole thing. But you're going to do different sizes. Okay, here we go. Here's one over here. Why? Because I feel like it. This one's going to be bigger than his first friend. So there's my first petal. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Number five is the last step on it. Okay, see that? There's two. Okay? You guys at home are going to keep on doing this. They're all going to be white. You're going to go all over your, your uh, wreath. Okay? Five petals. Sometimes maybe you want to do four petals. That's all right. Sometimes maybe you want to do six petals. That's all right, too. Just like the six-fingered man and the uh, princess bride. <laughs> My son was in that play when he was in high school. He was mad. It was anyways now. Yeah, no. That's a little random fact. Okay. So here we go. I'm carving out all these flowers. I'm making it my own little happy flower world. Okay. I'm not thinking. I'm just going... Hmm, this one's going to have four. This one's going to have six. This one's going to be little. This one's going to be small. Look at that. All random. Okay, and I know random is hard for some folks. I do. That's why I'm going to keep this little painting easy for you. Okay. There we go. Oh, maybe I want a little nugget right here. All right, let's do a little nugget. Mm 
Nothing wrong with a little nugget flower. <laughs> right? Look at that little nugget. I love it. Okay? Keep on going. Like I said, make sure you bring your big ones in. Your small ones. Your master blasters. Your itty bitties. And you're just going to randomly place them all over that wreath. Alright. Yeah. Oh, look at that big boy. Alright. Nice. Ooh, maybe I want one close to here. Okay, that'll be another little nugget. Ooh. Those little nuggets, I can just kind of slide out. I don't have to do the individual petals. See that? I like that. Yeah, let's put a little, another little nugget in there. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, six-fingered man. See that guy? <laughs> okay. And you guys are going to add as many or as few few of those little flowers as it makes your heart happy okay and it's just a matter of one two three four five everybody all right how is your son doing in his new apartment are there are some of your brush strokes for texture yeah yeah you know no not like not not that way but basically honey I am just um you know I'm just uh just yeah texture hmm that's interesting not really no um my son is doing absolutely awesome Miss Cheryl he loves his new apartment. He is fabulously happy on canvas, living with my niece. And, um, yeah, he's climbing. He's doing the outdoors club. He's my little superstar. God, I love him so much. I miss him. Wicked. You know, my need, my needs a boy. <laughs> but I got my fur, baby, to, to keep me happy. <laughs> My fur baby and my uh and my happy little birds. Though although I'm noticing, okay, this is my first year with the birds. It's getting cold. Oh, the pecker technique. Oh, okay. Oh, there. Yes, honey. Absolutely, because what I want the reason I do the pecker technique is because I want that center to be perfectly imperfect. Okay, hun? Um, and how we do that is we use the pecker because when we're using our pecker, we can't think. And so we're just pecking around. If you ever see the center of a sunflower, it's like this. Ooh. Hello, Anne Dumont, by the way, my little beautiful Anne Dumont. Okay. So that's why I'm using the pecker technique for the heart of that flower is to make it perfectly imperfect and give it a little texture. Yes, 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 my love. Okay. And we're going to keep on going. Going around that mountain. It's so funny, too, because, you know, it's like when you don't hear from your kids, you know everything is good. <laughs> I'm like, baby. He's doing great, though. My little boo-boo. All right. Now, keep on going until you have as many or as few as you would like in that beautiful wreath. And then, once you guys get all of those white flowers in there, okay, and you're absolutely loving it and you're wiggling with joy because that wreath is coming together like nobody's business. All right, maybe you have a part of your wreath where 
the braid looked a little funky, Cole Medina. Well, if that's the case, put a little flower in it. All right. Put a little flower in it. <laughs> Adam. Yep, there we go. And when you get those flowers in, you guys have successfully made it to halftime. When we are using our pecker, we can't think. Oh my heck. <laughs> guys. Oh, you bring me joy. You bring me joy. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> Miss Linda, that's what he said. <laughs> oh, quit it, Nikki. Okay. Now, I'm going to put another one down here just because I feel like it. Get a little contrast from my, uh, what do you call that, sunflower? <laughs> oh, Y'all naughty out there. Okay, and when you're all finished, this little guy will look like your version of this. Now, if it looks absolutely awful right now, you're like, oh my gosh, that's not going to be pretty. You're doing the right thing, okay? <laughs> because all these paintings look awful until they don't. And let me tell you what, then you're like, ooh, ah, okay. <laughs> I'm adding another little flower right in the center of my leaves. Like I said, break up some of that, you know, give it a little contrast. Okay. <laughs> okay. And when you guys are at this point, okay, my little love muffins, you have all of those white flowers in there. Look at that. Ooh, let's add another one. You know, at some point, you got to stop yourself. Okay, because sometimes the hardest thing I have teaching people is to stop touching it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're like, oh, if I keep going, it's going to look so... No, it's not. <laughs> okay? So you're all finished when it looks like... Well, wait a second now. Now I'm having a hard time stop touching it. When it looks like your version of this. Okay? All right. <laughs> you guys, you know how to get me. You know how to get me cracking up and then I can't stop. <laughs> okay, so you're all finished when it looks like your version of this, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to take a five, oh no, I'm going to give you four minutes because you're naughty tonight. <laughs> Maybe three. I'm going to gather myself. Okay, we're going to take a three-minute halftime. You guys go make your bladder gladder if you need to. Grab uh, grab another glass of wine and make your painting come out better. Stretch your bones. And I'll see you guys in three minutes, okay? <laughs> Not it. <laughs>
myself, so I might be back early. <laughs> All right, so now you guys get to get my halftime speech. I found my watch. I was like, where is that? I don't think I've set it back yet, though. No, well, there we go. Boom. I think I'm one of the last people that actually uses one of those kind of watches. <laughs> Vintage. <laughs> okay, so my halftime speech. Um, One thing that absolutely brings me joy. Okay, I did a light painting with. I can't read it, Kelly. Um, Is that you guys... Uh, send me pictures. Send me your pictures. I can't see your faces. So I actually I teach in the real world and I started doing these during COVID uh, just to bring people joy. And, you know, I miss people. I miss people, but I'm still teaching in the real world, which is good. But I can't see you. So um, one thing that brings me a tremendous amount of joy is if you guys send me a copy of your picture. Okay, I love that. I see all of them. I'm like, ah. you guys can, um, you can message them to me through um, my uh, messenger on my Artful Nights main page. Or if you'd like, you can join the group. We've got this beautiful, I opened this online art group for all you guys that are painting with me online so that you can um, share them not only with me, but with everybody else, right? And then we can all see them because I'm on there every day looking at the beautiful things that you guys do. And Jesus and Crow, you make me happy. That's my morning happy after a live show, okay? Um, oh, Mandy Pandy, how you doing, honey? I love you, too. You're so welcome, hon. Um, so, um, and our next live is, it's not a free live, then, which, you know, which is unfortunate. I kind of had to go down to just one of those a month because of, uh, you know, I'm not getting the well anyways. But, so, but our next live that we're doing is, here we go. It's going to be this beautiful one. That's going to be, I think, in not this Tuesday, but the following Tuesday. And we're going to be doing this beautiful fall hike on top of the cliff. And then, you guys, guess what's coming next? You know what's coming next. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I did this. See, I'm too pure and hot. You guys, you, you all saw it, but I didn't see it. Is the beautiful Thanksgiving Nomi. Okay? Minus the turkey snood that looked like a little something something. Okay? <laughs> so that is going to be the lines that I've already done. Can you access them? Yes, honey. Every Facebook Live that I have done, okay? Paid and, and and the free ones. All of the free Facebook Lives that I've done, and they're, we're, right now we're on 69, okay? 69. Um, and, um, yeah, they can all be accessed on my YouTube channel, which is Artful Nights Main. All you do is you go to YouTube, type in Artful Nights Main with Artist Nicole, and you can find them. I've got about, I think, I don't know how many are on there 45 50 something like that tutorials that we've done over the past year plus all of the lives that we've done um the paid lives that i just started doing in september you can access those and those are all of my most recent uh original creations that I'm actually teaching in the real world too. So I felt bad because I couldn't offer you guys my real world stuff. So I started doing those. All right. So yes, Anita Robinson, you can absolutely access every single one of those, honey. Any ones that we've done, I tried to make it good. I put one post with every single one in it so you can go on there incredible holiday paintings are coming up. I'm pretty proud of my holiday collection. So you get right in there. Lots of snowmen, lots of happy joy joys coming up next month, okay? All right, the paid ones. You got it, Miss Anita. Now who's ready to finish her up? I know I am. <laughs> so let's get her done. Okay. Now, the next thing that we are going to do with our beautiful fall wreath, okay? 
I am going to have you guys in the in the uh, interest of keeping it random, which I know a lot of folks struggle with. I'm going to have you guys. Oh, geez, maybe I should have changed my water, but I didn't. Oh, all right. So I'm going to grab my medium brush and I am going to use that beautiful or uh, uh, yeah, fall yellow. OK. <laughs> and I'm going to just pick different flowers. All right. And I'm going to paint them in with the fall yellow. Start there. All right. So there's this guy. And then I'm going to hop on over like this. Here comes Peter Cottontail. Hopping over. All right. Here's this one. And I'm not thinking. I'm turning off my thinker. Here we go. That's how I'm going to keep it random. Oh, I see this little nugget over here. My six-fingered friend. He's going to get this yellow. Okay. Oh, here comes this one. All right. And this is how your painting is going to be absolutely different than all your friends. Because you're going to jump into your world and your little nug nug. And you're going to paint whatever flowers that make your, you know, that reach out to you, these colors. See? Nothing I can't stand better than two paintings that are exactly the same. Okay? Come on in there with my beautiful wacky yellow. Throw that right in there. Look at that. Ooh, wee. Look, I think I need one over here. Let's break her up. Break her up, buttercup. Okay. Yes, sirree. Yes, yes, sirree. All right. And let's see. Where am I going to stop with this yellow? Let me figure it out. Hmm, do I need more? Oh, I guess I do. So I'm going to come up here. I'll paint this one in with the yellow. Okay, ooh, and where else? Let's see, any other spots I feel need some yellow? Oh, right about here, this guy does. He's screaming, yellow me up, yellow me up. So <laughs> I'm going to yellow him up. <laughs> Give me some of that yellow. Okay? And there we go. I think that's about all the ones that I'm going to pick. Well, maybe this guy over here. Why? Just because I feel like it. Here we go. Here you go, little flower. Now you're yellow. Okay? Beautiful. Now... What I'm going to have you guys do next. Hello, Leonor Ramirez. How are you, honey? I love you, bitch. Okay? Um, what I'm going to have you guys do next is take a tiny bit of red. Remember how we brought the yellow? We gave it a little bit of that fall feel. Well, what I'm going to have you do is take a tiny bit of red. Okay? Add that to your orange. And you're going to make your orange a little bit of a tomato soup orange, okay? Look at that. See that? Whoa! All right? And you guys are going to come in with that tomato soup orange. And we're going to hit some more flowers. Look at that. Woo-wee! That's good times right there. Okay? Oh, and I'm just thinking. I'm not thinking. I'm just picking. I'm picking random little flowers to bring in my tomato soup orange, babies. Okay? You just call me the Campbell Soup Kid right here. Because <laughs> I'm mm -mm good. <laughs> okay? Oh, here comes this little guy. He needs a little tomato soup orange. There we go. Whoops. And if it's easier for you guys to use your little brush, use your little brush. There's no prize for using your big boy. You know, for using this medium brush. There's no prize for using your burrito. 
All right, do whatever one is easiest for you. Okay? Oh, look at that. Oh, yes, he likes being tomato soup orange. He says, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, I think I'm going to break up this clump up here. There we go. Yes, sir. Oh, anywhere else? Let's see. Oh, well, I see a spot right here. This little guy says, I need to be tomato soup orange. He's talking to me. Okay, there's that one. And let's see what else. Hmm, how about this one over here? Well, no, definitely this guy. See him? Ooh, hello. Say hello to my little friend. Okay, see that? And then I can't have three red in a row, so I'm going to have to break up this little bandit, bandit of gangsters. Okay? Now, what we are going to do next, my little people, is everybody... It's going to wash off that brush, okay? You're going to wash off your medium brush. Dry it off so you don't get the dripsies because nobody wants that. You know what I'm saying? And you guys are going to hit those last remaining flowers with that full-on red. All right? So here we go. Grab that full-on red. There's that. And that's going to be my last remaining flowers right here. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my soul. This wonderful wreath is starting to come together. This is the wreath that you want on your door during the fall holiday, don't you? Well, you can put your painting on your door. I you like that. Perfect. Okay, and then you're going to get those last remaining flowers with that beautiful full-on red. Yes, sir. Mmm, nothing I like better than that. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. That's what I'm saying. Good times, good times. Okay. There's that one. And it looks like I got about three left. And again, you guys, you guys at home, don't try to keep up with me. Because you're just going to frustrate yourself. Okay, <laughs> I paint my sleep. Okay, so feel free, you guys, just to sit through and watch it the first time. And then, you know what? Paint tomorrow night. Paint the next night. Paint whatever you feel like it. So you're always going to have access to it. Okay, paint as much as you can. And then go back and, and uh, you know, don't try to keep up. Don't frustrate, because art is supposed to make you, bring you joy, not frustration. Okay, so there we go. Now I have each one of my flowers painted in, okay? The next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to take my teeny weeny little brush, all right? I'm going to take my itty bitty. Okay, my little bean. And starting with those yellow flowers, all right? I'm going to turn my bean into a little woodpecker. Okay, see this guy? Peck, 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 peck. And I'm going to start with my yellow flowers. And watch this. Right in the center, I'm going to go peck, 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 peck. See that? Can you see how that's not a perfectly round circle? Because I'm using the pecker. Look, whoop, do, 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 do. Okay. Let's hit this one. Do, 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 do. 
All right, and I'm gonna start with the yellow flowers first because I know that those are the driest. All right, and you're just giving each one just a little happy pack right in the center area. Do not make this perfect. Make those packs perfectly imperfect. See that? We don't want like nice perfect circle holes. We want them perfectly imperfect. Okay. Hitting them all. Tappy, tappy, tappy with a little Pekka. This is just like a little, a little, uh, I don't know, downy woodpecker or something. It's not the peelated. It's not the woody woodpecker. All right? And then when I'm done with the yellow, I'm going to come in. I'm going to peck in the center of the orange ones. Look at that. A little peck, peck, pecky. Okay? Yeah, let me hit that button. All right. Ooh, peck, peck, pecky. See that? Again, four or five little taps with that tiny little pecker. There we go. And that little bit of black. Ooh, do, 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 do. Okay, am I thinking? Nope, I'm just pecking. Do, 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 do. And there we go. We hit all the orange ones, I think. And maybe I missed one, I don't care. All right. And now, I'm going to come in. This painting is beautiful. I'm gonna, oh, good, Catherine Cruz. I'm so glad, honey. Oh, you're going to love it. I love this painting, you know. There's, there's quite a few steps to it, but let me tell you what, darling. In the end, it is so beautiful. You know what I mean? It just gives me a little fall, fall, you know. I don't mind that my leaves are dropping like flies out there. And I live in the leaf vortex of the world. <laughs> These would make cute four by six Thanksgiving cards. You know it, sweet sister. Absolutely. All right? Perfect. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I think I got them all. So now I've painted all the centers of all of those flowers. Okay? Now what I'm going to have you guys do is you're gonna grab your brush that has the, uh, like, okay, see the end right here? We're not using the brush part, but we're using the end part, okay? I'm gonna start off with some yellow, all right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that, that beautiful fall yellow on the end of my brush and watch this, here we go. See that? Okay, and in random spots, right, all through this painting, I am going to hit random spots, and I'm just going to give them that little yellow dot. What? Oh, yeah, see that? Give it the little pokey. Okay, and then look. Look what I just did. I just changed the pressure on my brush. So that some of those were a little bit bigger, okay? And what I find that I can do to make bigger dots is take my brush. If I don't, because you definitely don't want them all the same size, okay? So if you want to make a bigger one, take that brush and just rotate it in a circular motion. That makes a nice little dot for you, okay? So I'm starting with the yellow. All right, here we go. Maybe I want some of them in the same row. So there you go. There's one, two, three. Okay. And as I said, totally random. Now this guy, what? He's going to come right on top of the black. Look at that. What? Oh, yeah. Why not? We can do it. Okay. We can do whatever we want. Here we go. Boom, boom. And let me just stand back because I want to keep a balance with these guys. I don't want too much of one of these colors. 
So I'll put three yellow ones there. And here. I'll add one right there. And maybe I'll just add two here. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. Now I'm going to wipe off. Hello, Patricia Poisson. How you doing? Les Poisson. <laughs> Okay, now what I'm going to do is the same thing, but this time I'm going to be using my tomato soup orange. Okay, I'm looking for the in-betweens, the places where um, that don't necessarily. So basically what you want to do is you want to add in all these beautiful color dots, but you want to look for the holes and then you want to balance at the end. Okay. So now that I've got that yellow, I'm going to come in with some tomato soup orange. Look at that. Ooh. See that? Okay, here we go. Same thing. Dot, dot, dot. Why? Just because I feel like it. Add a little tomato soup orange coming off that leaf. See that? Come on in, and I'm looking for the holes and the in-betweenies, and maybe there's some places where, you know, I don't feel like I did so good. All right, well, that's the beauty of it. Put a little dot on it. <laughs> put a dot. Put a flower. It's okay. <laughs> Nobody knows it for you. Okay? And we're just going to bring in that second color. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Add a little of those orange dots there. And again, it's really important when you're going to do these dots that you find a balance, all right? You don't want to make your painting dot-alicious, okay? It's not the Milky Way galaxy. It's your beautiful wreath. But any place that you feel like that you want to add a little spark of color, okay? There we go. And I think I'm going to stop there with my orange. All right. I look around. I see that each section has a nice little piece. Yeah, maybe we missed a section here. There we go. Okay. There. And now, here we go. Here comes that red. Here comes the red fire truck. Same thing, you guys. Okay. Add in those red dots. Okay, whoops, here we go. Here's number three. Different sizes using different amounts of pressure. Look at that. Oh, okay. Do not let the dots overpower the painting, all right? Again, you want to find a balance in here where the dots add to the painting right they create light and fun and joy will i be posting this on youtube yes miss tammy but let me tell you what before it goes on youtube like tonight at the minute that i finish the live video it's going to go right on my artful nights main page so you can access it immediately and then you know when i get a little bit of time this week i'll throw it on the youtube channel so you can get it there too Okay, honey, and that's where it will stay. That will be its permanent home, will be on the YouTube channel. And you can access it whenever you like, my darling. Because these are, these are my gifts to you guys, so that you can uh, paint whenever it works for you. Okay? All right, and that, to me, is the balance. Okay, well, see this? See how I have all that red there? Okay, I'm going to come in up in here. Let me see, honey. Uh, where did I find that little spot that was driving me a little insane? Uh, oh, here we go, right up in here. All right, look, I'm going to add a little yellow there. Just break her up, okay? And there you go, you guys. There are your dots. What? Yeah. Okay, and you come in and you add... Like I said, you add as many or as few as brings balance to that painting, okay? Even this little guy down here is going to get some, all right? 
Beautiful. Okay. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is I'm going to have you guys grab your brush that has the smallest tip. Not this tip right here, but this tip down here. Because we're going to use the one that can make the tiniest dots, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our sunflower, okay? And the first thing I'm going to have you guys do, grab a little bit of that beautiful fall yellow, and we're going to create a circle around the center of that sunflower. Now, not, um, not painting in the entire sunflower, but just tiny little touches, okay, that create a circle for those sunflower seeds. Okay, see that? There we go. Beautiful. Now, once you guys get that done, oh, you're so welcome, Miss Bonnie Black. I love hearing that, honey. Okay, once you guys get that done with the yellow, you're going to come in with a little bit of white. See that? Let's fill these in. Do, do, do. Okay, in that same orbit as the other ones. All right, just a little yellow, a little white. Mix them up. Create a little magic, okay? And then in the center of that sunflower, okay, right in the heart, you're just going to tap in a little yellow, a few yellow dots, and a few white dots. Look at that. And that completes the center of your sunflower, okay? Just like that. So when it's all finished, all right, I'm going to show you a better version. This is the original version. It will look just like this. Okay? Yes, sir. Ray. Okay. Oh, you are so welcome, Miss, Miss Shirley. I'm so glad, honey. Thank you. All right. Now, one final step and your wreath is going to be done. Okay, the last step, you guys, we're using that same little tip. You're going to dip it into the white, all right? Again, make sure it's tiny, tiny. And in the center of each one of these, well, no, I'm not going to have you do that. Use your little brush. Use that tiny little tip on the bean, okay? Put a little white on that tip. And then in the center of each one of these flowers, you're just gonna go just like this. Okay, see that? Just like that. You're just gonna add a tiny bit of white to the center of each one of these black flowers. And you're not thinking, you're just giving it a little tap. Okay, give it a little tap. Just like that, one, two, one, two. Okay, again, you don't want that perfect circle no siree, you want them perfectly imperfect, each one of those little flowers, okay? Hit each little bugger, give it a tiny tap, doot doot, doot doot. Just like a little heartbeat, heartbeat of, uh, I don't even know where that came from. <laughs> heartbeat. <laughs> goodness okay and guess what my beautiful folks when you have your little white centers in each one of those flowers oh miss this little guy geez the bee's not going to be able to find him okay when you have your centers in each one of those flowers your masterpiece is complete Wow! <laughs> okay make sure you guys send me your picture if you haven't liked artful nights made on facebook like artful nights made that way you can get access to the tutorial immediately and you can share your picture with me okay 
When you're all finished, put your famous artist signature in the lower left or right hand corner. And that way, when these go in the Metropolitan Museum of Art next week, they are going to know who did it, you guys. Yay! Thank you guys so much for joining me. Oh, Billy Mitchell, you are so welcome. Okay, everybody have a fabulous week, and I will see you in a week, okay? Bye, everybody! <laughs>